Hey everybody, it's Art Weston. As promised, I'm going to do a knot test for this Nanofill 17 pound uh, single filament braided line. Uh, it tested out on the digital force gauge without a knot at 41.44 pounds average after five samples. So this 17 pound rated line um, is actually twice as strong as it states uh, in at least its main line strength. Now, when you tie a knot with braided line, they tend to weaken uh, significantly. And uh, let's try to see how much that could happen um, with some knots. So I checked with Berkeley's website and other research, and they recommend a very specific knot for this nanofill, which is uh, basically a, a double polymer. And so if you Google double polymer, you'll see that knot instructions. And uh, polymers are, tend to be very strong knots. They, they don't slip by design. And so it's a very good choice typically for braided line. So um, they must have some concerns because a single polymer uh, wasn't recommended. Um, the double polymer basically is you put the uh, double end uh, twice through the opening of the knot instead of a single time. So let's see how well it does. This is using again, the digital force gauge. It's set to read uh, peak tension. Um, as I crank the wheel and move the uh, line up away from where I've got the knot tied to a, a small um, swivel here. So I'll keep twisting it and I'll start to do a reading right about now. So three pounds, five, 10, we'll see how far it goes. 19.8 pounds. So that's less than half of the mainline breaking strength was a bit disappointing. Now, um, I cheated a bit. I've already done this test once before, just to make sure this is not an anomaly and that broke at 20.6 pounds. So it's right around a 20 pound breaking strength, which is just about um, a little over half uh, the main line strength. And so that's a fairly significant reduction in main line strength to knot strength, at least using this double polymer knot, which is what they recommend. I'm going to try a new knee, um, single polymer, uh, what I call the juggernaut, uh, and prove uh, cinch knot and a classic cinch knot and see if we can get anything to perform better than about 50%. Anyway, look forward to that. Thanks, guys.